Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And on the menu, live action from the Liga Portugal. It's Casa Pia up against Sporting. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Well, here is the lineup for the hosts today. Well, they're playing with a 5 2 3, as we can see it here, but somebody has to step in to join those two midfield players. It could be one of the fullbacks or it could be one of the centre halves. So keep an eye out for that. Here's the lineup for Sporting. Well, they're matching up here, so it's a case of whether they can impose themselves on the game. If they can get the ball into their front three with quality, they will pose a real threat today. And the game begins. Varela. Will he play it in? And a throw-in forthcoming. Interception to snuff out the danger. It's a neat move. Well, he's lost the ball. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow, Stuart. What do you think we'll see from him today? Well, Derek, when he's on form, when he's focused, he's a brilliant runner with the ball. He can take on players, he can go past people with ease, and he's got a great shot on him as well. I'm really looking forward to watching him play today. And a goal it is! No long wait for the opener today! Well, here it is again, and credit to the goal scorer, but you have to ask questions of the keeper. He's got to have that near post covered for me. No wonder he's frustrated with himself. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Trincao. And that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. Well, tried to let them continue, but now he's gone back and awarded the free kick. Well, he dealt with that ball played in rather well. Making progress. He has time to play it over. Oh, potential danger. Oh, nice ball over the top.
Really vital interception here. Pedro Gonzalves. Strength and control, a big part of his game. He's given us away. Morita moving the ball forward with purpose. Oh, and a wonderful stop. And now we find out it was offside anyway. in the centre and with that the attack fizzles out Marcus Edwards now with Esgallo this could level it and it is the equaliser parity now and who's to say what's going to happen next Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. So back underway, they've levelled it at 1-1 here. Well, on you go, says the referee. Advantage. There to take it away. Marcus Edwards. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. Ugarte. And on to Edwards. Hidamasa Morita. A chance to whip it in. And moving the ball nicely. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Moving into the advanced position. Oh, good vision. A goal here! Giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. Well, this is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the scoreline. And they know they need to stop him. Crossing possibilities. He quartered the attack illegally. Now perhaps a card is forthcoming. And yellow it is. A booking. Yeah, he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved a yellow card. Fed over towards the back post. 
Well, when it left the boot, I thought it might have a chance of fooling the keeper, but it didn't. Well, there it is. The away side haven't had as much of the ball, but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. I expect more of the same. I think it's been a really good performance from them so far. More defending for them to do here, though. Surely! Oh, wonderful save! Well, he reacts so quickly there. That's a great save. Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, a bit short with the clearance. The supporters want to see him have a go. Determined block. And the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. We certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, I really liked his first half display. He was certainly the most influential player on the field, and I'm expecting more of the same in the second 45. So, into the second half, sporting in front, but still they have work to do. Can he convert? Oh, the post denied him. Danger averted for now. Well, that would certainly have put them in a great position. But with only a one-goal lead, they're never going to be able to relax. Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. Nice-looking pass. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Pedro Gonzalez. Getting forward. Options in the centre. And it took a touch on the way through. So a corner here. And time for the change now. Who can he pick out? Well, not quite the header he had in mind. And the goalkeeper gobbling that one up. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Into the advanced position. Can he play it in? Veering in field here. Well, tremendous block. Marcus Edwards. And on to Esgayo. Well, moving the ball impressively here. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Chance to cross. Morita, promising looking ball. A terrific defending to stop them progressing.
Well, no surprise there. The hosts have enjoyed most of the possession, but without really creating enough chances. They've almost passed the ball for the sake of it. They need to start getting it into their front players much quicker to get back into this. Well, perhaps they can do something better with the ball now. Nuno Santos. Pedro Gonzalves. Hidamasa Morita. He takes aim and doing all he can to grab his second of the game. Well, he's been a real live wire today, a constant threat to this back line. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes, and now both sides will make personnel switches. Delivering it. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. Coates. He continues his run. Oh, big opportunity. The save was a good one. Varela. Just 15 minutes remaining. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Running with the ball confidently. Could be. And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, here it is again, and the way they've been playing, that was always going to happen. They've certainly been piling on the pressure here. So there it is, 3-1 the current scoreline here. Bad pass. Marcus Edwards. Counter attacking, very much an option. And he takes it on. Well, it's great when you can rely on your keeper. And time for the change now. Let's see about the delivery. Not the best clearance. Will he play it in? Well, that's a foul, and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position. Perfect free kick, and how well the keeper did to parry it. A corner will ensue. <laughs> but he's gone short with it. He's really opened them up here. And he had a bit of work to do in getting to that through ball, the goalkeeper. There will be three minutes added on at the end. Offside, a tight one.
Paulinho. A really sumptuous ball. He might profit from here, you know. And a goal to put the final stamp on it. That will do it. Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. Goals in plentiful supply. 4-1 currently. And there goes the final whistle, much to the disappointment of their supporters. Well, Derek, that just wasn't good enough today. A lack of a game plan, too many players below par, and not enough energy all around the pitch. A really worrying performance for me. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Well, I have to say, that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was excellent.